it's Connie with simplysimplestamping.com. Thanks for joining me for a Make It In Minutes video. I've had a lot of requests from you guys for fall cards, Thanksgiving cards and fall cards. Look at this one. I love those little acorns. They're whimsical. And I love that plaid background that came from the Warmth and Cheer Designer Series paper stack. Great way to use that paper. Great little focal image and a sentiment that pretty much says it all. Grateful for you. We even have a little more on the inside. Let's get going with our card today. So for this this card, it's kind of nice. We're going to be using the Warmth and Cheer Designer Series paper stack. And these are little six by six squares of designer paper. So I wanna show you really quickly how I cut down uh, my piece of designer series paper so that I could create two of today's card. All right, this is very simple to do. We are going to line up the cardstock on the one inch mark and we're going to cut. We're gonna take another one inch cut. So we now have a four by six piece of cardstock. Let's rotate that around to the three inch mark and we are going to have two equal pieces that are cut three by four and then we're going to have two equal pieces that are six by one. Now because my card is five and a half inches I am going to go ahead and cut these down to five and a half inches. Paper. My card base is in Delightful Dijon and I have that cut at eight and a half by five and a half. I've scored it at four and a quarter. And then I'm gonna be using as a background piece a piece of Very Vanilla and this is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. I also have um, some of the gold trim and I believe, I believe I had 32 inches of this gold trim. My stamp set today is the Acorny Thank You and then I'm gonna be using the matching acorn punch. I'm going to begin with a chocolate chip ink pad and then I have one of the acorn toppers. And there is a little trick because we want to be able to use this piece as a layering piece. So I'm going to stamp uh, one of the um, acorn toppers. You notice the stem is to the left. We're gonna rotate that around and stamp another one on this side. Now let's go ahead and come in with the matching punch. And when we do this and I line up that acorn top, you can see I'm going to get a full acorn right there. And yes, we're gonna be using that. We're gonna flip that around. We're gonna do that to the other side. I'm all about no waste. So you can see I've got adhesive on the back of my designer series paper. We're gonna cover that up. No one will have a clue that we use that to do all of our punching. Let me set that off to the side. I now want to stamp my two acorns. I'm going to be using Cajun Craze and Delightful Dijon. So let me come in and ink up uh, the solid base here of the acorn and I'm just going to stamp it. This is what's great about photopolymer stamps. I can stamp right there in the middle. There we go. I can clean that on my stamp scrub really quickly and come in with the delightful Dijon and let's do that same thing to my other acorn. Beautiful, okay, I have those stamped. Now we can add the toppers and um, I'm gonna do this a little bit different. I want uh, one of them and I think I'll do the Cajun Crage. I'm gonna pop that one, but this one I'm just gonna adhere flat, but I gotta tell you, I don't wanna worry about lining up that stem. So let's just rip that sucker off of there. We don't need to worry about that. I can add some snail adhesive, line those up. So there's one acorn done. This one here, I'm actually going to add Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm going to use a little bit of these Stampin' Dimensional bones and just a little bit. It's not gonna take a lot, but I love using the edges of my dimensionals because I don't have to worry about the dimensional showing versus you know using a whole one. So let's take the, oh, you know what? Just like I did before, I just don't wanna deal with that stem. We're gonna rip that off. Line that up. Okay, our acorns are done. Let's go ahead, we're gonna bring in um, that focal image that we had. All right, let's take our gold baker's twine. I've got, oh, probably about a finger's length hanging off the edge. Let's wrap this around, and now we are just going to tie it here on the side. I personally like to tighten a knot so that um, I'm not fighting holding that down, especially when it comes to working with um, baker's twine. So let's tie this in a bow. We can trim off the excess. And uh, now we can um, go ahead and add this to the front of our card base. I'm just going to adhere that in kind of in the upper left-hand corner. Okay, let's go ahead and add our acorns. We're gonna go ahead and do that first and then we'll add our sentiment because we don't want the acorns to you know, cover anything up. So I'm just gonna add some snail to the delightful Dijon. Let's add a dimensional. 
Actually, let's add two dimensionals uh, to the back of our uh, Cajun Craze acorn. We can tuck that one under the bow. Now we can see right where to go ahead and stamp our sentiment. So I'm gonna come back in with the uh, uh, chocolate chip ink. And this stamp is from the uh, Endless Thanks. I love it because I get two different um, fonts. So I'm gonna say grateful for you. Yeah. Now on the inside, we can take that strip that we had left over and let's just add that to the inside of the card. And then we can say grateful for you one more time. And there you have it. Another card that we made in a matter of minutes. Simple, simple, simple. And that's what we love around here, right? Now, if you would like to get any of the measurements I created for this card, you can find all that at one place. Just head on over to simplysimplestamping.com and look for the November 2nd, 2016 blog post. I'll have all the measurements there. I'll show you how to cut that designer series paper so that you can create two cards. And hey, what's not to love about being able to use that layering piece to cut out the acorns? Ah, love it. Guys, thank you so much for being a part of the video today. Be be sure to check out simplysimplestamping.com for more crafting ideas and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>